Welcome to Cars Mation. One of the most recognizable off-road vehicles ever produced, the Toyota Land Cruiser has been unavailable in North America since 2021. Fans and would-be owners of the Land Cruiser will be happy to hear that Toyota plans to bring the SUV back to the United States, although with a few changes. It has been stated that Toyota would not be introducing the full-fledged Land Cruiser 300 series that was presented in 2021, but rather the upcoming Land Cruiser Prado, the next generation of which will debut in 2022. Despite two major redesigns and multiple model year modifications, the current Land Cruiser Prado, J150, has been on the market since 2009. The Toyota Land Cruiser is scheduled to receive an update soon after the release of the newly redesigned Lexus GX in the United States. The Japanese carmaker has been tight-lipped about the future Land Cruiser, but we've compiled what we know thus far, including a series of hypothetical renderings based on the 2024 Lexus GX. The 2024 Lexus GX served as the basis for our renderings, we only changed a few details to make it look more like a Toyota. The bumper air intakes and front grille were designed to evoke the globally successful Land Cruiser J300. We modeled the smaller and sharper headlights after those found on other Toyota SUVs. We beefed up the plastic wrapping around the square wheel arches and left the rest of the bodywork alone to create a more aggressive side profile. Finally, the back was improved with new taillights and a revised tailgate that prominently displays the Land Cruiser name. Toyota will use the same TNGA-F body-on-frame architecture for the next-generation Land Cruiser Prado that it uses for the Sequoia, Tundra, and Land Cruiser Series 300, as well as the new Lexus GX and LX. When compared to the 197.04-inch, 5,005mm, long Lexus GX, Toyota may opt to make the new Prado a hair shorter to avoid the apparent inconsistency of making it longer than the 196.3-inch, 4,985mm, long Land Cruiser J300. The Toyota Sequoia, at 208.1 inches, 5,286mm, in length, remains the longest SUV option available from the manufacturer, thus it will still be significantly shorter than the new model. The next-generation Land Cruiser Prado was first speculated to launch in the summer of 2023. The launch has reportedly been delayed until 2024, according to the most recent rumors. These rumors suggest that in the following months, our spy photographers will start collecting photographs of camouflaged prototypes, giving us a better idea of the SUV's size and design. The cost of the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado is unknown at this time. They did, however, give us a hint that it might be available for purchase before the year was through. Based on the present model's base price, we may estimate that it will be between $89,000 and $140,000. When contrasted to its aging predecessor, the inside will be a major improvement. Toyota's designers are updating the interior with high-quality new components and cutting-edge features like a digital instrument cluster and a massive infotainment screen. The SUV is highly functional, with a roomy cabin and a huge trunk ideal for adventurers. The next-generation Land Cruiser Prado will likely offer a twin-turbo 3.4-liter V6 engine as an available powertrain choice. The Lexus GX utilizes this engine, which produces 349 horsepower, 260 kilowatts, and 479 pound-feet, 650 newton-meters, of torque. The electric motor-equipped hybrid version of the 3.4-liter V6 twin-turbo is another viable option. This hybrid powertrain in the Toyota Sequoia at Force Max produces a combined 437 horsepower, 326 kilowatts, and 583 pound-feet, 790 newton-meters, of torque. It has not yet been established whether or not, like the J300 model, Toyota would provide a diesel engine option for the next Land Cruiser in international markets. 
We do know that a standard 10-speed automatic transmission and a full-time 4WD system will provide power to all four wheels and all trim levels. Thanks for watching.